product photographer and I'm going to show you how I took this photo without a real kitchen. This is great, especially if you're not a Photoshop or AI expert just yet. First, I went to a website called unsplash.com and searched for kitchen countertops. You want to make sure that the photo that you select is shot at a straightforward angle, not a funky angle like this. This is good. This is not. A straightforward angle is going to make it easier for you to shoot a more realistic photo. This is a product that I'm going to shoot, so I wanted to find a kitchen with similar vibes. And I think I found my kitchen. So I'm going to download it. You can see that it is shot at a straightforward angle. Now I'm going to get this all set up. And you can use an iPad or your laptop screen, your TV. I am going to use this board I have here as the countertop. You can also use a simple white foam board as well if you don't have these fancy boards. Also a good idea to secure the back of your laptop so it does not collapse. For lighting, I'm going to use a continuous LED light, the SL150W Godox with a softbox to match the soft lighting of the image that I selected. I like to hover over the product as much as I can. Oops, not breaking anything. And one more thing I like to do is add a white foam board on the opposite side of where the light is coming from. And that is going to reduce some shadows on this side. Here are my settings. My shutter speed is at 1 over 100, aperture is at 4.0, and ISO is at 125. I'm shooting at a focal length of 70 millimeters. Here's what the setup looks like. Now let's edit this photo. So to edit this photo, I am first going to crop the photo to the dimensions that I want. Next, I want to select just the background to adjust the white balance and have it match the product. As you can see, the white balance is a little off. It's a little bit on the cooler side. So we want to make that warmer. Click here on the masking tool and select background. Now this is probably going to select everything, including the bottom half. And we want to deselect that. So you're going to click minus, click on brush. And with the brush, all you're going to do is just unselect or deselect that area. All right, so now the only thing that's selected is that laptop photo. And we want to do a couple things. Um, we're gonna come here and we're going to expose it so that the brightness matches the original photo that we took. And also we want to make it a little bit warmer. So on the temperature here, you're going to toggle to the right side just a tad bit. And then you're gonna press enter twice. So you can see that before and after is a huge difference already. And now we are in the light box and we're going to make edits on the entire photo, expose it a little bit, bring the highlights down a little bit, just very simple edits. And that is how you take this photo here to this. I hope this tutorial was helpful.